Hello, uh, in this video we'll talk about how to publish Blazor Server application on IIS server on Windows 10. Okay, and uh, for this we are going to uh, follow four different steps. First, we are going to enable IIS server on Windows 10. And after that, uh, we are going to uh, install an ASP.NET hosting bundle that is required uh, by uh, the IIS server in order to host a Blazor application. Okay, and uh, after that, what we are going to do is we are going to create a Blazor server application in uh, Visual Studio 2019, and uh, then we are going to publish publish that application in IIS server. Okay, so uh, first and foremost, let us make sure that IIS is not enabled on this machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Windows R to bring the uh, run dialog, and uh, here I'm going to write inet mgr. That is, this is the command which uh, opens the uh, IS uh, server manager just in case if it is installed so currently it is not installed so it should uh, uh, throw an error you see that window cannot find inet manager uh, so uh, what we are going to do is we are going to enable that for this what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, uh, write uh, app with dot cpl uh, that is application wizard uh, control panel link uh, to programs and features so I'll just uh, write this command and click on ok so what it is going to do is it's going to open our uh, programs and features uh, dialog uh, from here what I'm going to uh, do is I'm going to click on this win uh, turn windows feature on or off okay so uh, this would bring another dialog from here we need to enable this internet information service okay feature so uh, we'll find this internet information service and we'll click on this plus button and uh, we will uh, check these two boxes first one is for web management tools and second one is for worldwide web service okay we'll leave this uh, FTP server unchecked and we'll click on ok so uh, what this will do is this uh, will enable uh, the IS feature on this machine and this will take some time and it might even require you uh, to restart the machine so just do that so currently we'll wait uh, so that this feature is enabled on this this machine okay okay uh, now we can see that uh, IIS feature has been enabled on this machine so uh, I'm going to close this dialog and uh, I'm going to again hit Windows plus R key so that it brings the run dialog and I'm going to type inet of M mgr that is I want to bring the IS server management studio so this is the manager here we can see now it is enabled on this machine and now uh, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this default website under this site uh, sites folder and I'm going to click on this browse website this browse asterisk colon ht uh, it http link so that it brings the default IIS image okay and uh, which will make sure that the IIS is running on this machine now now next thing which I'm going to show uh, you is that if you go to C drive or uh, where the Windows is installed you can see a new folder has been created over there that is inet pub now within this inet pub you will find a root folder called www root now this is the place where we uh, put all the website uh, data so that it can get published on the IIS okay so this is uh, the place where we are going to uh, place the blazor server artifacts build artifacts and uh, we are going to publish it in IIS okay so uh, since we have completed the IIS uh, enabling job next what we have to do is we have to install uh, the ASP.NET Core hosting bundle so for this uh, I'll open the uh, browser and here I'm going to write ASP uh, core hosting bundle okay and uh, from this what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this a uh, dot download dot net core 3.1 link and I'll uh, share this link in the description and from this section what I'm going to do is I'm c I'll come on the right hand side and uh, here uh, I'm going to find this hosting bundle link okay so inside this ASP core runtime 3.1 I'm going to select this hosting bundle and I'll click on download okay so this will initiate the download of that package 
so next what we are going to do is we are going to install it so I'll just click on the downloaded file and I'll minimi minimize this okay now this is telling me that uh, please restart IS after installation is completed so what I'm going to do is I'll just agree uh, on the license terms and I'll click on install wait for it to get installed so uh, this basically install the runtime as ASP.NET Core runtime and as well as the packages which is required by IIS server in order to host a Blazor application. Okay, so as directed, what I have to do is I have to restart the IIS server. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this uh, Windows button and I'll type CMD. Okay, and I'll run this command prompt as administrator and I'm going to write IIS IIS reset and I'll click on enter so what basically this will do is this will stop the IIS server and restart it again okay okay now our IIS server has been restarted so just to verify that I'll open the browser and uh, I'll just refresh this localhost page and yes it is up and running now next what I have to do is I have to create a Blazor server application in Visual Studio so that we can host it on IIS server. So I'll open Visual Studio now and I'm using uh, 2019. So I'll, okay, and from this welcome uh, window, what I'm going to, oh sorry, get started window, I'm going to click on this create new project. And uh, from this template window, I'm going to select Blazor app and I'll click on next. And here I'm going to give it a name. I'll say, oh, I'll say hosting app. Okay, and I'll just click on create. And from this Blazor template, uh, I'm going to select this Blazor server app and I'll click on create. And I'll wait for the application to be get uh, created and loaded into Visual Studio. Okay, uh, now uh, the application is created and loaded into Visual Studio. So first and foremost, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this application. Okay, so I'll get uh, the application to be built so that there is no error. And, they, uh, and I believe they sh it sh should not show any error because uh, we are using the default template. Okay, so the build is succeeded. So what I'm going to do is I'll go to this debug menu and I'll start the application without debugging. So we can see how it looks. So this is the default application. Now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to publish this in our IIS server. Okay, so in order to do that, uh, what I'm going to do is I'll come to this project name and I'll right click on it and I'll uh, select this publish menu. Okay, and from uh, this window I'm going to select this folder one and I'll click on next and this shows uh, the default location that is uh, in the project itself within the build release uh, the .NET version and it will create a publish folder and within this publish folder it will uh, uh, publish all the artifacts of this Blaze server application so we'll leave everything as it is and later we are going to copy from this folder and we'll publish it in the INET pub ww root folder okay so i'll just click on finish now this profile has been created so i'll click on publish now and i'll wait for visual studio to publish this uh, server server artifacts so we'll wait for that okay now all the uh, web app uh, artifacts has been published so i'll just copy this path okay and I'll go to Explorer and I'll paste it there okay now here we can see uh, within this as mentioned within bin release and dotnet core app 3.1 uh, it has the visual studio has created a new folder called publish and within this publish we have all the artifacts which can be published on IIS so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this folder and I'll go to the inet pub ww root folder 
which was in a C drive okay so within here I'll come and paste it yes and uh, I'll just rename it okay it is not required but I'll just rename it uh, okay so uh, now we know that uh, we already have a, a folder within WW root now we need to tell uh, to our IS server that we want to publish this folder now uh, once you come back to IS uh, uh, manager within this uh, site a node we'll right click and we'll say add a website and we'll give it a name I'll say hello blazer okay and uh, we have to point to the physical path uh, so we'll click on this button and we already know that it, this is within C drive and inside init pub inside www root folder and uh, this is the folder hello blazer which is re which we renamed okay now apart from this what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a uh, new port number that is 8090 because on port 80 already the local host is running okay so I'll just click on ok and uh, the application is now hosted so what I'm going to do is I'll come to this browse website section and I'll click on this link and our website should be hosted and it should be yes uh, now here we can see the application is hosted okay and uh, it's up and running in the IS okay so uh, this is it from the video I hope uh, you find this video helpful and uh, thank you very much for watching have a great day